Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this short video where I want to show you how to use the custom position feature as well as FSI Panel weather engine. So let's start by selecting an aircraft. I have already loaded in my P3D uh, 747 800, beautiful 747-8. So now I loaded it and the engines are off. So as you know, for FSI Panel 2020, we must have the engine running so the best way to do that here is simply to go to the pmdg setup panel state load so if i put that in big you'll be better load and i can just go to default execute and now my engine will be starting and i'll be ready to fly in 20 to 25 seconds another thing as well is to set your weight so we can set the weight either here with the menu or we can set the weight with fsi panel so we'll use the second option we we'll let fsi panel set the weight for us so let's go to fsi panel in the meantime we're almost ready here so i will just set the parking brake so we stay on the runway and let's go to fsi panel all right let's select our airport so why don't we try approaches in los angeles Okay, we have Los Angeles, select the airport, select the runway, I will take a uh, runway with ILS, long runway, let's put 2-4 left. And now we will see what we can do with the fix button. In here you find a, uh, a few options. On final approach you can be 4 miles and 8 miles. Those figures are coming from the default figures in your setup, I will show you in a minute. X nautical miles, you can choose any distance you want from 4 to 20 miles. Then we have the star training, standard terminal arrival procedures, arrival route, which is covered in another video. And then you have the air work, if you want to fly high altitude for your training. And then you have finally the custom options for base, downwind or vectors. All these figures, like I said, for short final, long final, as well as the uh, final distance on vectors, for example, you can set them in options as you can see here my short final quick approach distance is four miles and long distance is eight miles i can change all the figures here as i want and that will reflect into that page so let's try now a left hand vectors as our first approach we can see that right now i'm expecting a eight miles final distance and that should be at 2400 feet so let's try to change this distance to a six miles final so if I click on any of these figures, I'm in a menu where I can change the distance. So here, let's say we say we want six. So I push six. As you can see, you will see in a minute, sorry. The altitude that has been computed by FSI panel 2400 is for eight miles final. So now if I select six, this altitude is changed in order to match your glide slope. Now we have the vector's distance. So we'll be traveling four miles before we intercept or uh, localizer let's make it three and there of course it doesn't change your altitude because we are not we are the same altitude at the same position when we intercept or glide slope okay we validate those options and now we will see the fsi panel weather engine so if i press weather i have the option on top here to select quick set we use that often in a simulator to quickly change the weather visibility to practice go around or to let the crew go down to their minima without having to change uh, precisely the weather so i can just select cat one and you will see the runway at the cat one minimum if i put cat two it will be a cat two cat three you'll be at cat three weather so basically this is 200 meters overcast at 50 feet so when you go down to 50 feet you will see your runway and no visibility this is to train go around missed approach so basically whatever you want as a minima you will never see the runway you will have to execute a missed approach okay let's talk about custom weather options you have the wind so the wind we need to type it in three digit for the directions two digit for the uh, speed and two digit optionally for the gust so if my wind if i want the wind to be from for example 060 at 12 knots I need to type in 06012. Enter, and now I have 06012. Another quick set feature here is crosswind, headwind, and tailwind. For that, you will use your arrow keys. And let's say I want a left hand 
crosswind. So what I need to think about is the arrow is showing you where the, 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 the wind is brewing to. So if I press my right arrow, I get 161, which is basically a left-hand crosswind because my wind is blowing from left to right. And then I just put, for example, 10 knots of wind. And now I have a crosswind of 10 knots. Visibility, you can choose any visibility here on the button. So let's put something interesting like one kilometer. Temperature, you can set the temperature like 23. Or if you want to set the dew point, you add the other two digits for the dew points. If the dew point is 12, I put 23 over 12. OK. QNH depends as well on your unit. If you have hectopascal or mercury inch of mercury, you just type in your number. So I'm in hectopascal. If I want a QNH of 1025, I put 1025. And that's it. Now for the cloud setting, let's make an overcast layer. And we're going to put it 400 feet, so close to a minima. So we should see the runway very close to our minima. And precipitation, why don't we put a little bit of rain, light rain, and that's it. Now you have two buttons here. I will quickly tell you what those buttons are for. Set weather will basically set your weather for the next approach. So arm your weather if you, if you prefer. So the weather will be sent with the next approach, while send weather will send the, the weather directly to P3D. So this method of set weather is the best way if you prepare your approach and send weather i will use it for example if you are on downwind or if you are doing a star training or you're on final and you just want to modify a little bit your wind or change a little bit your visibility then you send the weather and that will immediately change in p3d doing this on final can be quite disrupting for the aircraft as you might change some value from tailwind to headwind or the temperature might change quite a bit and then the aircraft might uh, behave very bad. So be careful if you use send weather. It's always better to use set weather. OK, so now we're all set. Our uh, 747 is on the runway. Now if I press move aircraft, as we talked before, the aircraft is overweight. So I will use new load and I'm offered 20 tons of fuel, which for me is perfect. I don't need more. And the aircraft, we can select any zero fuel weight. So we'll make a zero fuel weight of 230 tons. So we'll be around 251 tons. When I click update load, FSI panel will start preparing for us. So let's go for it. Now, when we go to P3D, now the weather will be set. The flaps will be moving to uh, five as we are on uh, vectors and here as always do not touch anything let fsi panel do the work see we are in the air now we will see what's happening altitude should be 1800 we are reaching there we can see not our fmc is programmed altitude captured if we look at our qnh we have 1025 which is what we want we should have our ILS set at the same time as the approach there. So we are not yet here. We see the bugs are set. So we just have to wait, as always, until you get on top the message of FSI panel telling you to take over control when you're ready. So we just a few seconds away and that's it. See on top, aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake for two seconds to take over control. Now I have a correct reading of my ILS. I can see my point here now i can modify my fmc as i like for example now we see this point is in front of me sooty so i can put it sooty on top inbound 251 execute and now we are set i could set my minima if i need to i will not i will not do it here but this is what you can do now when you're ready to take over control hold your brake two seconds here we go as you can see on top, you have control. And now I can arm my approach. And we are going to fly this approach. So I will fly this approach and we meet each other just before our minima. Okay, back to business. We are reaching our minima. 
we will call it at 200 feet. So we expect with the weather we saw, what is checklist incomplete? Yeah, I didn't finish the checklist. Okay, that's just the landing checklist because I didn't move all the checklists as I'm supposed to. No worries. We have the gear down, we have the flap study, speed brake arm, cabin ready, auto brake is set to two. And now we are approaching two four left. So let's see if we see the runway at around 300 feet AGL. Now we can see the ground contact. As we know, we put overcast 400 feet. 400 feet, we can see ground contact. Now we are approaching our minima. We should see the approach light anytime soon. This is very close to minima. I can see my approach light at minima. Perfect. And let's see how the PMDG is doing the landing. Flare, retard, idle. Perfect. Beautiful. Use reverses. AD knots. I take autopilot off. And we take the second left. And I will show you something new as well. Maybe you know already if you watch the video. It's the uh, after landing flow. Now you are in a very bad weather, so you want to concentrate on your taxi. So you don't want to look up, you don't want to look down, you want to taxi your airplane. So there is the after landing flow by FSI panel. So the only thing you have to do is retract your flap one step. So I will do that now. And now you see my first officer is taking over control. You can see on top after landing procedure in progress. And everything will be done for you. You can just taxi your airplane. So your lights will be switched off. Your APU will be started. All the switch will be set as they're supposed to be. You see the TCAS has been switched off. So if we look on top here, we can see our lights. Landing lights are off, taxi lights are on. So you just concentrate now on your flying. FSI panel is doing the after landing flow for you. Okay, I will stop here. We have the landing report, which uh, this is the intercept as we were coming from uh, vectors. This is completely normal. And then we can see that we were very nicely established and everything is good with the auto land. Good. So this is how we use uh, fix. So now if I want to do another quick approach again, select fix. I can choose now a final of let's say we want to be six miles final. I click here, six miles final. OK, now this is the computed altitude, 1,800, which is perfect for me to be on the glide slope. So I accept it. I keep the same weather and I'm ready. So I'll just click move aircraft. We go back to the sim. And as you see, the aircraft is still on ground. There is no reloading anymore. It will take a couple of seconds that the flaps are going to 30 and then we'll be set back to six miles final. Let's see that happening. Here we are, speed, heading cell, vertical speed. We can see our uh, altitude 1,800. We see the runway in front of us. So as always, do not do anything. Just leave it to FSI panel. And once you're ready, you can take over control and fly. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I wish you as always, very safe landing and see you soon. Any questions, please drop them below and I will answer them. Thank you. Bye-bye.